is now in motion. And it's post time. They're off and pacing. Two of them leaving hard. Freedom Fighter and Gothic Gill away very quickly. And Freedom Fighter assumes command. Gothic Gill, Miles Ford able to slip into the two hole in front of Penny Lace back there in third. Then it is Man with the big cigar getting away fourth in front of Magic Luck, pacing fifth in the early going. Another two and a half back to best of the lot. And then 212 Turner was a little bit off the gate. And he can see them all from back there in seventh. They move to the quarter pole with Freedom Fighter controlling things, being rated on the top end by John Chapel. First quarter, 30 seconds flat. Right there, second is Gothic Gill. Penny Lace, the mare, racing it off from third. Tipped out fourth and driving now. Here comes Magic Luck. Starting the first over advance for Gary Clark, trying to pick up his cover. 212 Turner down on the inside. Man with the big cigar. He's slipping out now. And the trailer now is best of the lot. They're starting to pair up as they approach the half mile point. Freedom Fighter with pressure on the outside. Magic Luck is applying the heat. Sticks a neck in front as they went by the half in 101 and 1. 31 and 1 in the second quarter. Out of the clubhouse turn. They're paired up. It's inside. Freedom Fighter outside. Magic Luck second. Gothic Gill rides the pocket. Outside fourth. Man with the big cigar. Inside fifth. Penny Lace. Best of the lot. Trying to wind it up from sixth. And backing away was 212 Turner. Down the backside, Freedom Fighter. He wants to shake off Magic Luck. He can't do it so far. Magic Luck still lurking there, but a length back for Gary Clark on the outside and grinding. Gothic Gill tucked up tight in the pocket. He wants out. Three wide now and coming. Man with a big cigar is making a move for Fred Gillis. Three quarters, 131 flat. They're bunching up. Freedom Fighter trying to finish it off. He looks tired. Far outside, man with the big cigar is gaining. Magic Luck fighting back in between horses. It's still Freedom Fighter. They haven't got to him yet. Gothic Gill in the pocket. And it is outside, man with the big cigar. But Freedom Fighter hanging on to win it over Gothic Gill. Close for third as well. May have been man with the big cigar. Freedom Fighter did hang on to win it in the third. Four threes field now under starter's command. And it's post time. They're off and pacing. You asked for it. Firing off the wings for Fred Gillis. And right to the top. Down on the inside, Miss Contessa Lou looking to hold the pocket. Greenfields parked out and driving third. Filling a spot there fourth. One more fortune. Then it's about three and a half back to I'm an overdrive. And not catching the gate there were Whispers and the trailer TNT Matty. They head down the backside for the first time. You asked for it. Assume command early. Greenfields would love to get into the pocket. And does so now for Tim Clevenger. Back in third is Miss Contessa Lou racing fourth. One more fortune. She slips to the outside in front of I'm an overdrive fifth. And then it is Whispers and a TNT Matty. Opening quarter 29 and 1. You asked for it. Got the lead with a sharp opening quarter. Looking to grab a breather now in the second quarter as he has Greenfields in the pocket. One more fortune striding up first over now for Brent Grundy moving into second. Greenfields back on the inside third. Outside fourth, I'm in overdrive. Outside fifth, TNT Matty is coming on well from well back. And then Miss Contessa Lou tiring and Whispers is the trailer. Half in a minute and a fifth, 31 seconds, second quarter. It's you asked for it. Under urging now as they come off that turn. One more fortune coming at him. Three wide and driving. I'm in overdrive. And following that one with pace, looking four wide. TNT Matty and Miles Ford coming from way back. They've circled up, taken over. It's TNT Matty at the three quarters. Going to the front in front of I'm in overdrive. Three quarters, 131 and three. And it is TNT Matty. Matty striding away by two and a half. I'm in overdrive, battling in second. Big gap of about six back to a gas. You asked for it. Then one more fortune and Greenfields. They turn for home. TNT Matty circled the field on the backside. And he's going to be an easy fourth race winner for Miles Ford. TNT Matty in front. I'm in overdrive. Second. You asked for it. Stayed for third. The field all set. 
It's post time for the fifth. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Bomber Brown, the quickest away from the center of the racetrack for Ricky Schneider. He's crossing over the rail and taking the lead from last one standing back in second. Following in third, Red Star Spitfire dropping into fourth is HF Grandma's Girl. And then you have Freedom Whisper getting away third from last. Think Mink behind that one. And the trailer is Crazy Arms as they move single file. Down the backside for the first time, Bomber Brown set up shop early on the lead. Racing second, last one standing right there in front of a Red Star Spitfire, Don Tracy in third with that one. Then it is next, HF Grandma's Girl from fourth, Gary Shalosky with a hold on that one. And looking to the outside, the first quarter in 30 and four. Also looking to the outside, Freedom Whisper starting to move from fifth. And then you've got Think Mink and Crazy Arms. They approach the half, come by the grandstand here. It is Bomber Brown doing good things on the front end so far. Racing second, last one standing. He's content with the pocket. Red Star Spitfire idling along in third. HF Grandma's girl has wheeled out from fourth. Not making much headway, though, on the outside as she is under urging from Gary Shedlowski. Then you've got Think Mink and Freedom Whisper with crazy arms at the back. Half in 102 and a two, Bomber Brown sets sail down the backside here at Evergreen. Racing second, last one standing, has had a good trip. Red Star Spitfire third, three wide from the backfield. And moving into fourth, here comes Crazy Arms. And then you've got HF Grandma's Girl and Freedom Whisper. Three quarters, 132 and three. It's Bomber Brown now having to deal with last one standing. He pulls the pocket for Daryl Litke and is coming after the leader. Red Star Spitfire saving ground and then crazy arms here they come for home it's bomber brown opening up to red star spitfire on the inside far outside crazy arms bomber brown trying to find the wire and he does it's bomber brown in front crazy arms second red star spitfire for third Turner, gratefully accepting third horse position in front of lunar chipmunk from fourth Lunar Chipmunk tipping out to the outside now early. First quarter, 30 and 2. The back three still Shakira Park, Celtic Rain, and tipping out from the back is John's Devil. They come off the turn. It's Distant Wind setting the tempo. Wait for the music. Waits his turn in second. Lunar Chipmunk getting the call from third, moving up somewhat for John Chapel. Shakira Park also tipped out. Down to the inside for Del Rey O'Burner now back to fifth. And then John's Devil and a Celtic Rain. They're all still in it. Four in, three out. They move on the clubhouse turn. The half is 101 and three. 31 and one second quarter. It's distant win. Brandon Campbell with a firm grip on that one, rating his speed as a Lunar Chipmunk is coming now on the outside more serious like. Three wide from the back, John's Devil moving up and down on the inside, wait for the music. The race is on now, it's Distant Win being put to the test by Lunar Chipmunk. Those two in a big nose to nose battle. Past three quarters, 131 and two. It's Distant Win repelling Lunar Chipmunk. John's Devil from third is gaining. Wait for the music and all out fourth. As they turn for the payoff, Distant Wind rewidening to two. Lunar Chipmunk trying to come back for more. And then John's Devil, it's Distant Wind. He's not home yet. Lunar Chipmunk coming back again with another rally. Distant Wind trying to hang on. Lunar Chipmunk at the wire. Distant Wind holds on by a neck over Lunar Chipmunk. And John's Devil, your winner, Distant Wind. Trained and driven to victory by Brandon Campbell. Distant win wins right back two in a row here at Evergreen Park. Two wins this year and five starts. Distant win wins this evening in 201 four fifths. The results are official. Owned by Ricky and Dick Schneider, driving Ricky Schneider. Number two, Even Steven, racing for Andrea Forska to driving John Chapel. Three, Dance All Dandy is owned by Jack Bealby, driving Don Tracy. Four, Just Walk On By, owned by Walter Moroz, Mark Bradley in the bike. Five, Blue Star Legacy, Warren Grant for Blue Ocean Stables. The six, 11 to win, owned train driven by Gary Shedlowski. 
And running the field is the seven yesterday's girl, owned by Ken Walker. Driving today, Brent Grundy. That's your field of seven for the eighth. There is Exactor, Quinella, Triactor, and Late Win 3 wagering here in the eighth. Eighth race field moving to the stretch. It's post time. Here they come. They're off and they're pacing. Even Steven following the gate right out of there for John Chapel moves right to the front. Dance Hall Dandy trying to wedge into the two hole in front of Bone Collector back in third. And then you pick up yesterday's girl from fourth. Back next, just walk on by in front of Blue Star Legacy and 11 to win. That's the field. As they move on to the backstretch, even Steven trying to open up that two hole for Dance Hall Dandy to get into. Bone Collector still has her hung out as they move towards the quarter. Back and forth, yesterday's girl watching it all unfold for Brent Grundy. And then just walk on by looking at it fifth with Blue Star Legacy 11 to win at the back. The quarter 29 and 2. Even Steven under new management here this evening has the lead. By a tight length there, Dance Hall Dandy did get into the two-hole. Bone Collector now races it off from third. And out and driving now, here comes just a walk on by from fourth for Mark Bradley. On the inside fifth, yesterday's girl, then Blue Star Legacy out in Rambling. And 11 to win also tips to the outside. As they go by the half, it's even Steven getting them there in a minute and three-fifths, 31 and one. Second quarter, even Steven looking strong, Dance Hall Dandy. Keeping up second, uh, just walk on by from third now. Bone Collector not doing enough fourth. Blue Star Legacy from fifth. And then yesterday's girl and 11 to win. Down the backside, even Steven opening up two and a half now for John Chapel. Just walk on by is grinding an outside second. Dance Hall Dandy is going all she can and inside third. And then out three wide for yesterday's girl. Three quarters, 131 and one. It's even Steven. It's his to win or lose. Coming on strong now. Just walk on by in a second. And yesterday's girl is closing as well. Even Steven. He's clinging to this lead as they turn for home. Just walk on by second. Yesterday's girl coming right down the pipe for Brent Grundy. And it is yesterday's girl coming from way back to get there over. Just walk on by. And even Steven, yesterday's girl, wins the eighth. 